Hello and welcome to another Proteus tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how we use the Layers tab. So go up here to your Windows, Layers, and what you'll see is a little, little window here that kind of tells you how many objects you have in your level. And one of the neat things that we can do here is you can just say Hide, you can Show, um, you can Select. So it selects everything in this group, which is the default group. Now one of the neat things that um, we like to use this for is to sort of group things that are together so that it's easier for you to edit in um, the long run or to come back and just work on a singular section. So I'm going to just start by making this shadow box a lot bigger so it just stays out of our way while we do this. And I'm going to start separating these rooms up. Now you don't have to do this, and in fact there's multiple ways to use this layering system. You can almost use it as a temporary system as well. So for example if you just wanted to, uh, well I guess I'll start with the normals. <laughs> let's, let's go back. So let's make a, a room 1 and a room 2. I'm going to type in room underscore 1, add, and I'll just change that to 2 and add another one. Um, and we'll just go ahead and go into select object mode and just kind of drag out here. Now I'm not going to include this door. I'm going to add them to group one. I'm going to hide them so I can see okay they've been successfully added. Then I'm going to go ahead and do group two. Not get the shadow brush in here. Add that. And then we hide that and then the only things that are left are so we have two objects left which is the shadow and the sun, and that's fine. So let's go ahead and show those again. And the, the one of the neat things about this too is if you're, you know, you've made something here and you're not sure if it's gonna work or not for the layout, you can always just hide this and then it'll stay hidden. So when I play the map from here, you can see that it doesn't exist here anymore. And then we can bring it back. So it's a great way to try out ideas or if you have a bunch of enemies that you just don't want in your way while you're testing. I don't know. Let's say we've got, um, let's say we've got just a bunch of, bunch of fiends in here, and we just don't want them in here when we're testing. So we just select those guys. Let me move this guy out of the way. Let's select those guys. Uh, combat, combat one. Add hide, and now they won't spawn. So that's another way uh, to go about using the system. And we can use this for grouping scripted stuff together. So door one, for example. Door underscore one, gonna capitalize that. Door underscore one. And grab all the little effects and things with this. Add. And when you, what you see is the number switches here because we're removing it from one group and adding it to another. Looks like I didn't get that. And if you add it to a group that's already been hidden, it just kind of pops away. Cool. So now we've got everything. And if we wanted to work on just this door again later on, so one of the cool things about this, you go into your Layers tab here, and then you select the door. It selects everything in here, and you can do Control-Shift-H will isolate the selection. So then you can just specifically work on this. So let's say, oh, yeah, you know what? We don't want side faces here. No one's going to see those. Go ahead and delete those. And yeah, we're pretty good to go. Um, I guess this floor piece here, if I shift H unhides everything again, um, I didn't really want this to be in the group. So I'm gonna go ahead and add him back into room, uh, room two. And we can just hide that stuff again. And it seems to work fine. Cool, so that's one way you can use the layering system. I hope you guys enjoy. Catch you next time.